Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than 20 minutes away from kickoff. Make sure you go to the concession stand, grab your cold drink, something to eat on the home side. They've got jambalaya for $5. Make sure you go grab you a plate. Once again, we are less than 20 minutes from kickoff. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Ghost Sports TV, a flying ghost production. My name is James Smokey Leonard, and we're here in Independence, Louisiana, as the Hawks come in here to take care of the Tigers. And here to talk about the nice game with the old ball coach, Coach Christopher Gordon. How you doing tonight, Coach? Well, Coach, second season of Barnes, district play. Tell us what you're thinking is right now, Coach. I mean, you just said it, Mr. Smoke. I'm just happy to be to the second season, district, every game counts. Excited about the opportunity to play and try to go 1-0 in this year. Well, Coach, how did your team, you went on the road last week, you played a good solid game, both sides of the ball. Tell us how did your team react in practice this week? I mean, you know, last week it was trying to knock the rust off. Uh, this week we had a good week of practice, knocked a little more rust off, you know, and uh, hopefully we're getting better and better with the game plan and we can execute tonight. Well, Coach, Independence coming in 1-4, uh, their record, don't speak volume of what their team look like. They got a lot of hybrid type players. How do you plan on defense in that tonight? Man, at the end of the day, Mr. Smoke, I tell you all the time, we three A's. We want to line up correctly. We want to do our assignment, and we want to annihilate. Uh, Independence is mean, a two A school, but like you said, have some big kids, and again, a lot of hybrid players, guys that can run. So we want to make sure the guys that need to stay at home stay at home. The guys need to make sure nobody runs upfield, don't run upfield, and then we want to tackle. Coach, how is our overall health? I know you had Cheney out for a couple of weeks. You had Muse out for a couple of weeks. I was back in the dress room and I saw them wearing uniform. You plan on playing them tonight, Coach? What you think? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just happy to have those guys back. You know, uh, Braylon went down uh, late spring. 
uh, early summer, so we're glad to have him back. Uh, we're going to give him some reps here and there just to get his, get his, you know, get his motor going. Uh, got to spot play him at times. Uh, as far as Chaney, man, you know, we we so happy to get him back. He's the heart of that defense and ready to see what he can do. Well, Coach, this looks like it's going to be a big game. I see the crowd arriving here early. Both bands look like it's going to be a battle of the bands besides a football game here. Yes, sir. Good luck in tonight's game. Thank you, man. Go Thank on. you. That's it here from the Coach's Show. Kickoff will be coming right up.
of our game day sponsors, our pregame meal, was sponsored by Jovis Davis. Also, one of our sponsors, they're open late tonight. It's the Depot. Go check them out by the tracks tonight here at Independence. And your hydration sponsor tonight, Amber Hillman. Fighting Tigers and the St. Helena College and Career Academy Hawks.
Once again, sponsors for tonight's game. The pregame meal was sponsored by Jovis Havis. The depot, open late right by the tra train tracks here in Independence. Go see them for something to eat, something to drink after the game. Another sponsor is Amber Puma. Coming in two and one, and we start district play tonight. The Hawks traveling here, coming in here with their black head gear, white jerseys, gold numerals, white pants, and they look like to be solid, ready to go after a victory a week ago over Lafayette Renaissance Tigers. The Hawks look like they're going to come in here and try to run this ball on the Tigers tonight. They got a full squad. Everybody's back. Everybody's healthy. I saw some guys in the dress room. Raylan Muse. His first time dressing out this year. It's gonna be, he was a starting center in the spring. He should be able to come back uh, and play well this year. As the Tigers come in from the far end of the stadium, dressed in their white headgear, burgundy jerseys, white numerals, white pants. And they coming off of a fresh victory over Dale High by a score of 16 to 6. So they're all excited about this home game here tonight. Looking on the far side, got a sparse crowd over there for the Hawks along with the band and the Independence Band playing right next to us here. Playing hold that Tiger, let's see if we can hold him off the scoreboard. The captains for tonight's game gonna be number five, Hollis Doty for the Hawks, number zero, Travis Hornis. Give you the captains for the for the Hawks tonight. Homestanding Tigers. Number eight, Jonathan Daniels, and number five, Hollis Daughtry. For the Tigers. Daniels, I thought that was Hardest, but that's number. Lacardi is boat right. Boat right. Seventy four. Courtney McLean. McLean. Seventy one. David Johnson. David Johnson. And number four, Makai B. Makai B, number four for the Tigers. As they meet in the middle of the field, the referee gives them instructions. We just about three minutes away from the kickoff here at Tiger Stadium in Independence, Louisiana. Independence doesn't have a big team, but they have a hybrid type team where, where players can play both ways. Then that was Hornets out there for The toss. And the Hawks look like they're going to have the ball first. And the Hawks be going from our left to our right. The Hawks have won the toss and chose to receive. And we're just about ready to go as a team congratulating each other at half at the field. And we're going to take a break here for the national anthem. Prayer and the national anthem.
And we are back live after that rendition from the Tiger Cats. That's so just the name of the band, Independent Tiger Cats. And we just about ready to go here for this Thursday night edition of Hawks Football. Welcome to Go Sports TV. As the kicker runs out on the field for the kickoff, that's going to be number three, Jamarcus Weatherspoon. Be teeing it up from his 40. Let's see who's going to be the returners for the Hawks. As the big guys line up across the front at the 50-yard line. Deep to receive. Back to Hollis Daughtry. Hollis Doty and, and Jonathan Daniels. And number Take zero. For the Tigers. Number three, Jamarcus Weatherspoon. Harness is back deep for the Hawks along with number five, Hollis Doty. And we on the way as a little squeal kick coming down there to the Hawks. Hawks mishandled. Finally falls on it at about the 30. As Willer fell on that little squeal kick there. They didn't want to kick it deep. So the Hawks can play first and 10 from the 30-yard line. As they come out with three receivers flank here to the near side. One back set, you got one receiver on the top of the field. Adarius Baker, quarterback, running back, number 17, Miguel Bond. And here we go. Snaps back, give it to Bond. Bond break off the left side of the line, fall forward for about two. Stopped in there by a big number 60. 69. That's going to be Philip Wright on the stop for the. Picked up two. Early here in the first quarter, first series, first play. Same set for the Hawks. You got two receivers here to the near side, one to the top of the field. Bond flanked to the right of Baker. Snap is back. Baker take a three-step drop, looks, throws it way down there, way down there. Got a man in and out of the hands of uh, Darius Harness on that first side as he ran a nine route, and he was open for a short time. Ball just couldn't get there in time and hit the ground. So it's going to bring up second down and about eight. Third down and about eight, I'm sorry. Put a good crowd here tonight. A lot of noise going around. You're watching Ghost Sports TV, a fine ghost production. Two receivers to the top, one below us, one back set. Change the play. Three step drop, got pressure, throws away down there, throws away down there, and once again, has tried to throw it into triple coverage that time as Harness ran the same route. Falls incomplete, so it's going to bring up fourth down. For the Hawks, number two, Baker. Baker's going to be punting. Can't see the return guy from here. Finally gets set. Baker gets the ball. Good high kick. 
good booming kick. Going to take a Tigers bounce. So it's going to be dead at the 39. That's where the Hawk, I mean the Tigers, will start their offensive set from the 39 of their own. By number one, Timothy Dorsey. Tigers will take over first and 10. First and 10 from the 39 for the Indy Tigers. Let's see who's going to be quarterbacking for the Tigers. As the Tigers spread him out. And he's gonna throw on the first down. Weatherspoon looks down there. Got a man wide open, complete inside the 25 yard line. That's number six, Gary Sanders on the completion from Weatherspoon as they showed a run and then they went for it all right in front of us here. It's gonna be first down and 10, right at the 20 yard line as the Tigers. Strike big on their first play. This time the Tigers come out with two receivers here to the near side. One back set. Weatherspoon calls for the ball. This time he puts it on the ground and the Hawks may have come up with it. Let's see. And it is, it is. It's like the Hawks come up with it. No, it's gonna be Hawks ball. It's gonna be Hawks ball. It's gonna be Hawks ball. As the no the correction, they're gonna give it back to the Tigers. It was on the ball. It was on the ground. Hawks had plenty of opportunity to get on it, but when the referee got the ball, it was from a purple shirt. So it's gonna be a timeout right here, and we're gonna take a timeout with them. No score early. One receiver to the first side. No, that's two receivers to the first side. One back set. And that's number two back in quarterback boat right. Flag on the Flag play. On the play. A legal procedure charge to the Tigers. Gonna move them back five. Start on the Tigers. It's going to bring up second down in about 20, 25. Got to get all the way down to the 10. <clears throat> Bolt right in is that quarterback, along with number nine, Robinson, flanked to the left of him. Man in motion coming back this way, and that's Bolt right on the keep, straight up the gut there, Bolt and right stopped in the there carry. by number 54 for the Hawks, Christopher Broomfield. Gain of one yard. Gain of one. It's gonna bring up third down and 22. Bring up third down. I'm sure we in two down territory, four down territory for the Tigers. As they come out with They're gonna send two receivers to the far side. One back set. That's Bean flanked to the left of boat right. And three step drop, throw a little string pass out to the would-be ball carrier and Wheeler grabs a hold to him on the far side, couldn't get nowhere. So that's going to bring up fourth down and about 13. Bean on the catch for a short game for the Tigers. Fourth down. Fourth down and about 11. We are early here in the first quarter. No score. 8.20 to go. Fourth down and 13. 
Two receivers to the top of the field. One back set. Both Wetherspoon calls for the ball, hands off uh, to the running back, and he stumbles forward, comes short of the first down. So that Runs was down to the 20 yard line, not enough for a first down. So the Hawks going to take Hawks over on take down. Over first and 10 from their 20 yard line. So after the big Tiger play from the first eight, Jonathan long pass by the Tigers, had the ball at the 20 yard line of the Hawks, could not capitalize. Hawks take over on downs. And they come out with one receiver out here on the numbers. Let's see if they're going to bring somebody with him. They do to bring a slot receiver over here. And then one guy at the top of the field. Finally gets set. Bond flanked to the left of Baker. Baker calls for the ball. And that's going to be an encroachment charge to the Tigers. Flag on the play. So the Hawks going to start off first and five. Encroachment on the defense. So it's going to bring up first and five after the encroachment call. Exactly eight minutes to go in the quarter. No score. Hawks second possession. Snap is back. Give it to Bond. Bond runs right into the teeth of the defense. Pick up maybe a yard, maybe two. Let's see. Number 17, Bond's on the carry. Gain of four yards. Bring up second down and one. Gain Tackle of four. By number second down and one after that Christian first and Butler. five. Two receivers to the top of the field. This time they got Bond flanked to the left of Baker. Wing back on this side is going to be Daniels, and that's number eight. And that's going to be a keeper all the way on the quarterback. Gets throw first down, gets across the 40 to about the 42 the yard line. About 10 yards. No, for Hawks, first down. First down for Baker as he's quarterback keeper all the way. Tackle made by number nine, Jordan Robertson. And now they're going to come in with a direct snap. Harness in at the running back. The ball is at the 43. Let's see what we're going to do here. Snap back and Harness coming this way with it. Gets the block, turns the corner. Runs through one block, gets up around to the 49-yard line. Stopped Zero in there by number 17, the Milton. Harness. Harness. On the carry for the Hawks. Pick up a six. Pick up a six yards. Gonna be first down and four. Got a late flag. Holding. Charge to the Hawks. Gonna move him back. Gonna be a ten yard mark off against the Hawks. They question where they're going to mark the ball, place the ball, and the ball is going to be marked off from the 42. That's a 10 yard penalty. 10 yard penalty back to the 32, so it's going to be first and 20. First and 20. As the Hawks kind of spread it out here a little bit. Two receivers of both sides, one back set. Baker calls for the ball, snaps back. Got time, looks, 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 and he finally fell under the pressure of big number 74. McLean, Courtney McLean, brings him down, so it's going to be another loss for the Hawks. So it's going to bring up second down at least 25.
Let's see if they can dig themselves out of the hole. They're way behind the chain as they got three receivers to the top, two to the bottom. Empty set. Let's see if they're going to go for it all right here. 6.26 to go in the quarter. Baker calls for the ball. Snaps back, and he got a good drop, and he rolls out of there, rolls out of there. He's got nowhere to go. Baker, keep on the and to couldn't find anyone to throw to it, so field. it's going to be sacked. About number 55. So that's going to bring up third down after another loss. Let's see what the big play is here. As Baker. Got three receivers to the top of the field. You got two to the bottom here. Baker's in the backfield all along. Snaps back. This time he got more pressure. Throws it out here. Incomplete on the fourth side. Baker's pass incomplete. Bring over a turnover all down. Tigers take over. First and ten. As the Tiger take over and down in the plus side of the field. The Hawks went for it on fourth down and long from the 25. Correct. And the ball it's fell in the clear. Oh, it's fourth down now. I thought it was listening at the PA announcer. It's fourth down now. I thought the Tigers had taken over on down, so it's fourth down and forever for the Hawks. As Baker stands back at his 13-yard line. And that's going to be an offside charge to the Tigers, so we get five of those yards back. We're on a Thursday night game here in Independence, Louisiana, as the Tigers of Independence play host to the Hawks of St. Helena. Remind you next week, homecoming at the Hawks Nest. As we take on St. Thomas Aquinas, it's going to be a 7 o'clock kickoff. And that's going to be a bad snap and going to be a high end over end kick going to take a tigers bounce and they gets the ball on the 42 so you got a 10 yard punt there from baker at the 41 yard line oh, well let's call it a nine yard punt. The tigers first, down. first down for the tigers they've been shifting between weather school and Boat right at quarterback. That's number two and number three. Let's see who they're gonna have in there this time. So it look like number three is coming out. To start this series at quarterback. And we have one receiver to the top of the field. One here below us. Bean is long back. Brother Spoon calls for the ball and hands it off to Bean. He twists and turns right into the hands of the Hawks. Bean on and the he carry. may have get may have gotten a yard. Let's call it third down Michael and nine. Three six. minutes and thirty-five Dante seconds Cheney. to go in the half. Cheney on the stop. Good to see him back into the lineup after missing three weeks. Well, it was a little bit more than three weeks. No Let's call it five. Play, bring up second, down and ten. second and ten after no gain on the play. Weatherspoon still in that quarterback. This time they send three receivers to the near side. One back set, flank to the right. A Weatherspoon. Man in motion. They give no affection to him and they'll get to the spoon coming back on the counter and the, the Hawks played it well. Carry a one. Tackle made by number six. Pick up a Dante yard. Cheney. It's gonna bring up third down and nine. This time they bring in Boatwright as the quarterback, senior. He's more of a running quarterback than Weatherspoon. Let's see what he's going to do. Send two receivers to the top of the field, two to the bottom. And there he is. Going to give it off to the running back, and he runs right into Miguel Bond that time as Robertson, Robertson carried. Right in there, it's going to be a loss on the play. Made by number 17, Miguel Bond. Bond stopped him in his track for a two-yard loss. It's going to bring up fourth down, and let's call it 13. Fourth down. 
And they're going to go forward from this spot. Try to pick up this first down. Let's see if number two, Bolt Wright's going to keep it. Or he's going to give it off. We got two wingers to both sides. Two receivers outside the hash. And they got a good block, got a good run. He got inside the 30. It looked like he got first down yardage as the Hawks gave up a fourth down play to Bean. As he, nice little run. First down for the Tigers. Tackle made by number three, Jarvis Brister. Brister on the stop as Bean picked up of about 13 yards on the carry for the first down as the Tigers take their dear time. One receiver to the top of the field on the hash. Look like one receiver here just outside the numbers. Another guy in the slot, Nears. Now you got two guys, two oh, slot guys, and and we're gonna take a timeout. Look like it's gonna be on the Tigers with 57 well, seconds to go. Sponsors, we'll take a break right here. Also back 57 seconds to go in a quarter no score Tigers and Hawks it's gonna be first and ten from the 31 and that is the quarterback on the keeper pulls it and that is both right I'm brother spoon as he Take it into the middle of the line and pull it. Went around the left side, picked up about five or six Game yards. So it's going to be second down and five from the 25 Round yard line. Zero, Hornets. Credit Hornets with the tackle. Round the ball is squarely on the 24 yard line. Two receivers to the top of the field. One below us, one winger, and one back. Frank to the left of number three. And they give it to the running back, and that is Daniels as Dan. Sling him down. Mikhail Bean. Loss of two on the play. Number eight, Daniels in on the tackle. Daniels on the tackle for the Hawks. Jonathan Daniels. going to bring up third down. Let's call it six. Single receivers at both sides. We've got a wing back to the first side. And they're going to run it that way with Bean. And Bean stopped in there by number nine, Willie Martin. So it's going to bring up fourth the down. Around the right side. Tackle made by number nine. Willie Martin. Willie and Martin on the stop. The end of the first quarter. And that's the end of the first quarter. Zero. Your Tigers, zero. No score. As the Hawks and the Tigers change into the fields. We'll take a break right here. New vision, new direction. Michael Martin Sr. for St. Helena Parish Police Jury District 3. Vote number 78 on the ballot, October 14th, 2023. And we are back to start this second quarter as they get the same shit, change set on the far side. I'd like to remind you, you're watching Ghost Sports TV, a Flying Ghost production. My name is James Smokey Leonard, and welcome to a special edition of Thursday Night High School Football. 
as the Hawks and the Tigers start district play in 7-2A. No score going into the second quarter. It's going to be fourth down and let's call it seven for the Tigers. The ball is at the 29-yard line. Need to get down to the 21. Two receivers to both sides. Man in motion coming back near. And they throws it to him on a swing and he got it first down and hit him that hard by number three. Oh, no, I can't make a, yeah, that's number three, Jarvis Bristol. Bean on a good swing out of the backfield. That's a good looking play, but look like he's kind of walking gingerly. Harness put a lick on him, but it didn't matter because he had a first down on that little man in motion and just let him circle right on down the sideline and quarterback put it right on him. First down, Tigers. Timeout, Hawks. As the defense huddle up here, try to get things together, and we'll take another break right here. New vision, new direction. Michael Martin, Sr. for St. Helena Parish Police Jury District 3. Vote number 78 on the ballot, October 14th, 2023. back. Let's see if the defensive coordinator, Coach Singleton, got it straight now. The Tigers knocking on the door inside the red zone on the Hawks. First and 10 from the 17-yard line. Two receivers to the far side, one here nears. Boom, as the quarterback, then they fake it in that to Bean. Now they give it to him and throw him down there hard by 55. Porter and Broomfield on the stop. Tackle made by number 55, Donrell Porter. It's going to bring up second down. Second down and 12. Second and 12 for the Tigers. One receiver to the top of the field. Tight end to that set. Two receivers down here below us. Spoon, that quarterback, motion man, and they give it to him. No, the Spoon keeps it, pulls it. Try to sneak up Jamarcus the A-gap. With the carry up the middle. Cheney on the stop. Gain of four yards. Pick up a four. Bring up third down and eight. Third and eight. Number 17, Bonds on the tackle. The Tigers have had some pretty good third down and fourth down plays here tonight so far early. Let's see what they got in their bag of tricks right now. It's third down and let's call it seven. The ball is at the 16-yard line of the Hawks. Single receivers to the far side, two here below us. Spoon calls for the ball. And that's going to be a penalty on the Tigers as that tight end jumped a little early on that far side. False start on the Tigers. As the referee gives us the procedure motion penalty. Move the Tigers back outside the 20. The ball is at the 21. 9.51 and counting. No score in the second quarter. Weatherspoon still in that quarterback. Single receivers of both sides. Bean, the long back. And he's going to throw it way down there. And it's going to be intercepted. It's going to be intercepted. Jarvis Bristol took it away from him right at the goal line. And the Hawks, Number three, as he played it perfect, he had inside leverage on him, and he threw it in there anyway, and Jarvis made him pay for throwing it in there. 
First and ten for the Hawks. Jarvis Brister closed the door on the Tigers right there. At the 9.29 mark. Let's see if the Hawks can move this ball 80 yards and get on the scoreboard first. As they come out with their power group, let's see if we can establish the run. Willie Martin. Look like he's going to take the direct snap. Let's see if we can get us a good push right here. And that is direct snap to Daniels, and he picked up maybe three. Kind of confusion there. Who's going to get that ball? Jonathan number eight Daniels or nine? Ran up the middle. Tackle made by number 74, Courtney McLean. Gain of two. Bring up second down and eight. Pick up of two on a carry. Second down and eight. Same set for the Hawks. This time that is a somebody else coming. They come around by itself, no blockers. And he picked up a good four, five yards. That's Jarvis Brister. Brister on the carry around the left side. Tackle As you can see, he, McLean. he brought it around there with no blockers, no white shirts. Third down. Bring up third down and let's call it one. The ball is at the 29, need to get right at the 30 for the first down. Another tight set. And that's Bond. Bond's got first down and more. Gets over the 40. On the quarterback keeper. That is Miguel Bond, Bond as he moved the chain. First down. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. First and 10 at the 40. Tackle made by number six, Xanders. Xanders on the tackle for the Tigers. Gary. As they remain in the tight set, trying to establish the run here. Got a power set, everybody in tight. Daniels swaps to the right side. And we're kicking the ball all over the place. And that, that experiment needs the end right there. Number three, Brister hitting the backfield. Robinson on stopped out number nine. It's 7.18 to go in the third, first, second quarter. Bring up second and 21. Second and 21. As we bring Baker back in with two receivers to both sides, one back set. As they finally get set. Baker caught for the ball. And that's going to be another flag. Should be a delay. Ball start. Charge to the Hawks. So that's second and 27. Hawks going the wrong way. Six fifty to go to halftime, no score. As Baker gets him set, you got three receivers here to the near side, one player to the top of the field, one back set. That's Brister flanked to the right of Baker calls for it. Three-step drop, got pressure, got pressure, throws it down there, got a man wide open, and what a recovery by number 11, Baker's Sellers. Broken up. As he, by number 11, Seller. As he tried to get it to Wheeler. That is Harness that he tried to get it to, so it's bring up third and 27. Six minutes and 26 seconds to go in the half. No score. So far, it's been all independent. They've had the ball in the red zone twice, turn it over twice. The 
two receivers to the top of the field, two belowers. One back set, flank to the right of Baker. Baker take a three-step drop, and he cannot get rid of it. Baker sacked in the backfield by number 10. 71, Johnson on the stop. David Johnson. Gonna bring up fourth down for the for the Hawks. Baker. He's got to get up and punt after that big hit. Let's see if he can get a good punt out of here with 540. Low snap. And it's going to be a bad kick. The ball is going to go out at the 33-yard line. Goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. So the once again, the Tigers of Independence enjoy a good field position. Let's see if the defense can stand up once again. We're in the second quarter, 5.31 to go. First down for the Tigers. Let's see what the Tigers are going to do right here this series. Spoon still in at quarterback. Two receivers to the top, one below us. And that is Bean. Bean got good yardage. Bean's running hard, getting inside the 25 to about the 22. Brister, once again, looked like he may have saved a touchdown. First Second down for the three, for Bean. Timeout. Hawks. Hawks gonna call the timeout. See if we can get it straightened out right here. 501 to go in the quarter. We'll take a timeout right here. back as the coach Singleton talked to his defense we need another stand right here it's gonna bring up first and ten from the 21 yard line 5-11 to go in the quarter no score The Tigers come out of the timeout with one receiver to the near side, two to the top of the field. One wing back to the right side. One back set flank to the left of Bolt Wright. And Bolt Wright's going to keep it. Now, and he's right inside the, the, up the middle. Up the middle. Pick up about five, maybe six. Tackle made by number 11, Wheeler. Wheeler on the stop for the Hawks. Bring up second down and five. Second and five, five yards on the carry. Four minutes and 47 seconds. Two receivers gonna be flanked to both sides. Got two buys. One back set. Ball inside the Hawks red zone for the third time here tonight. Bolt rights the quarterback. Give it to number nine, and he falls forward for about Jordan a yard. Robertson, Robertson up the middle. Daniels on the stop. Pick up a three yards. Bring up third down and two. Third and two. Tackle made by number 55, Porter. Porter on the stop for the Hawks. Spoon back in at quarterback. Two receivers to the top of the field. One here below us. 
outside the numbers. One receiver outside of the numbers on the far side, one on the hash. And they're going to run it for no gain. It's going to bring up third down and about two. About number three, Brister. Brister on the stop for the Hawks. Bring up fourth down and two. Fourth and two. Let's see if the defense can stand up one more time. 314 and counting to halftime. Weatherspoon is in at quarterback. Good looking sophomore. They're going to take a timeout, but. 10 seconds left on the play clock, 2.48 the game clock, and we'll take another time out right here. New Vision, New Direction. Michael Martin Sr. for St. Helena Parish Police Jury District 3. Vote number 78 on the ballot, October 14, 2023. back on this big fourth down play with 248 to go in the quarter and they're gonna try to sneak it and no that should be a penalty I don't think he got there but it is a flag on the ground I think that should be procedure it is as the white hat let us know instead of uh, one yard it's gonna be fourth and six let's see if they're gonna kick a field goal here False start on the Tigers. We'll back them up five yards. And they're still going to go for it as they move their players around. Want two receivers here below us. One to the top of the field. Spoon still in that quarterback, flanked by Bean. And they're going to give it to Bean, and he jukes and jukes, and he did not get there. Stopped in there by 55. Dun Dundrell Porter. On the carry. So the Hawks, once again, defensively stands up. Turn the Tigers away. Flag on the play. Flag on the play against. Penalties decline. Decline is against the Tigers. So the Hawks, Hawks going to play first and 10. And 10. We got 240 to go to halftime. Let's see if the Hawks can get some big plays and get it down the field to the zone and go into halftime with a one score lead. As the from Hawks the come out, yard line. first and 10 from the 18, got 82 yards, 240 to get there. No score in this contest. Two receivers to the near side here for the Hawks. And they're going to have people going all over. Not somebody to call a Chinese fire drill right there. If you ever seen one. Had players moving from everywhere. So the Hawks going to move back five. On the Hawks, back them up five yards. Replay first down. Replay first down. Let me say, going into the halftime, that's the trivia for this week. What year did I start doing the commentary for the Hawks? Let me see if you are sharp tonight. Tommy and Miss Knox, you disqualified. You've won once already. Hawks play first and 10. Uh, that's going to be a bad snap as they move him off his spot. He 
Runs it around the right side. Baker pick up about three. Run around the right side. Stopped in there by number 74. Pick up a two. Bring up second McClain. and 13. Second and 13 after that five-yard penalty. 74. Courtney McLean in on the tackle. 219 and counting. Also on the tackle, number two, Boatwright. Well, we had one call come in, say 2002. That wasn't a year. It's high snap. Baker maneuvers his way. Now, oh, what a block as he gets to the outside. Finally stepped out of bounds at first down yardage. Baker with a nice run around the right side, but there's a flag on the play. And that should be a crackback block because that was a hard hit right there, and that's where the flag was. None of those are right. 2001 is not right. 2021, you said? No, that's not correct. 2005, 2005, foul, and 2000, incorrect. Will be half the distance of the goal. Half the distance of the goal on that cracked black box for that sprung Baker on that first side. We got a minute and 41 seconds to go. Baker stands at his one yard line. Second down and it got eight on the scoreboard and that might be your first score right there. Balls batted out of bounds. Batted out of bounds and that's gonna be a safety. So with 123 to go, the ice has been broken. The Hawks give up a safety on a bad snap into the end zone. The quarterback Took it on himself, knocked it on out of bound. Give the other team two points. And we got a winner. I'm gonna make you sweat it out though. Just before halftime, before we go, I'm going to give you the correct answer and the winner. One minute and 20 seconds, 23 seconds to go. So the Hawks got to punt it from... from their 20. As Baker the, set to kick off for the Hawks. Bean set deep to receive. Bean's back deep. And it's going to be a kick coming down at the 38. He puts it on the ground. Let's see if we got some good pursuit. No. But the Tigers Bean recovers 69 the yards away from a score. Be first and leading ten two from nothing. the 32-yard line. And here we go. Let's. What year did Smokey start his sports commentary career for the Hawks? Teresa Bird. You won in 1999 against the John Paul. Out of Sunday, out of Slide, a Pope John Paul. I was a color commentary. Floyd Harvey was the lead guy. As we come out two by two for the Tigers. Spoon calls for the ball. Man in motion coming this way. And they're going to fake it to him. They're going to try to throw it down there and get it all. Got a man wide open. And that is Bean. That's number six. Xander. Xander's. 
number six. As he added out, had good protection, flag but there's a flag the on the flag. Let's see, got flag down there. See if it's for excessive celebration or what. Let's see. Could be worse, it could be against the Hawks. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Tigers. That's moving back 15. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the Tigers. Congratulations, Teresa Bird, 1999. I got to stump you guys sooner or later. I'm going to come up one next week. I bet you, you won't get it. First and 10, 25 yard line of the Hawks. 59 seconds to go in the half. Snaps back, and they're going to give it to the running back, and he's going to be caught in the backfield for a loss. He met in the backfield. Willie Martin. By number nine, Martin. <laughs> 46 seconds to go at the half as we count it down. As they take their dear time. Twenty-three seconds and counting. Seventeen seconds. That may be the last play of the half. We're gonna take a timeout right there and do one play. Timeout, Tigers. Gonna be timeout, Tigers. With about three seconds left on the clock. Let's see if they're gonna timeout charge to the Tigers. With 14 seconds to go. Here we go, last 14 seconds of the half. Let's see if the Hawks can hold them out. The Tigers got time enough to, for two plays. You got three receivers to the top of the field, one to the bottom. Well, you got two to the bottom. And we're gonna have a timeout charge to the Hawks. Timeout, Hawks. Gotta remind you, a week from tomorrow night, the homecoming at the Hawks Nest as the Hawks play host to St. Thomas Aquinas, seven o'clock kickoff time. Come on and join us at the Hawks Nest. Got some Hawks fan on the first side. They kind of look like they're sitting there stunned with a score, two nothing Tigers over the Hawks. We're just about ready to go here to play this last 14 seconds of the half. Two receivers to both sides for the Tigers. And a snap back, it's on the ground, on the ground, and it's on the ground. Finally, we had no rush. If we'd have had a rush, we could have gotten there. A big loss for the Tigers. Big loss for the Tigers all the way back to the 50. And that's zero. it for the halftime. The score. Surprisingly, the Tigers 2, 
The Hawks, zero. We'll see you in the second half. take you through a midfield precision drill. The tune is called Cupid by Lloyd.
Yeah.
Yeah. And we are back, and it's going to be a kick deep by the Hawks. And it looks like it is a bad. First down for the Tigers. Tigers got the ball first down. 9-16 to go in the third quarter. The Hawks fumbled a, a punt. So the Tigers, now it's going to be the Hawks ball. The Tigers will be on the kickoff. I can't see what's going on from here. They're yeah, in the front end of the stadium. Got another stoppage in play. Tigers. It's going to bring up first and goal from about the 20. They're going to run it on the right side. I can't see, and it's going to be a stop of the play down there. They're like the Hawks stopped them. Sellers on the carry around the right side. Two-point conversion is no good. Two-point conversion is no good, so 9-16 to, to go to Hawks. Zero. On the back end of the score, eight, eight for the Tigers, oh. zero for the Hawks. Well, they like both right. A bean recovered that fumble, pick it up, scored. The Hawks down themselves, one score down. 9-16 to go in the quarter. You was watching Go Sports TV, now you're listening to us. We have it corrected shortly. Talk, the Hawks find himself in an eight point hole here. Brother Spoon get ready to kick off. And it's going to be another strip kick. Picked up by Hawk. Right at about midfield. Number 72 on the return. Hawks will have the ball first and 10. First and 10 for the Hawks. At or about midfield strike. Kind of hard to see from here at the 47. Let's see if the Hawks can grind it out here. As the Hawks come out of the hubble. What's wrong? Why are you making all this? Baker oh, calls for the ball. I'm not going to get
Going to bring up second down for the Hawks. Second and eight. And this rainstorm here in Independence. The Tigers eight. The Hawks nothing. Baker is in the gun. Snaps back. He's going to come around this way with it. And he's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to Baker go. Around the left side. It's going to bring up third down for the tight for the Hawks. Loss of one. Bring up third down. Third down and eight after the loss of one. Was there any room in the press Number box? Number 45, Adams on the tackle. So it's going to be third and nine. Seven forty seven to go. Third down for the Hawks. And that's gonna be a procedure call on the Hawks. It's gonna move them up five yards. Move them back five yards. So it's gonna bring up third down and fourteen. Hey, hey, don't do that, man. Hey, as a matter of fact, y'all go over there. Get, a, go get from under the Get from under the oh. Almost intercepted. Going to bring our fourth down. Incomplete. Broken. Injury timeout on the field. Oh, this is That's going to be a fourth down and 14 for the Hawks. Six minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Stop it in play. Time out, Hawks. Time out, Hawks. Baker's punt is down at the 26 Gra yard line. Down Bring at the 26. Down first down, Tigers. As the Tigers take over, first down and 10 at the 26. Two receivers to both sides. 
Just going as a quarterback, man, coming into motion, and they give it to him, and he's wrapped up in there by Willie Morgan as he so loses he's about on four. The carry around the right side, met in the backfield. By number That's the second time I've seen the Willie referee. Martin. Hello? Breaking up. Is that right? It's going to be second down and call it 16. Let's see if the Hawk can get a miscue down here while they pinned up here. Got a slippery ball. Let's see if we can put some pressure on them. And the ball is on the ground and nowhere to go as Spoon had to cover it up at pressure and then by Martin. And Bristol. Witherspoon recovers the fumble. So it's going to bring up third down and 35. Third down. Let's see if the Hawks can continue to put defensive pressure on them right here. Single receiver to both sides for the Tigers. And it's on the ground. Hawks ball. Hawks ball. It belongs to the Hawks. Finally, they got a break. Number 50, Donovan Burton, falls on it as the Hawks play first and 10 in the red zone. So we got four downs right here to get on the board and then possibly go for the two-point conversion to tie this up right here with 4.54 to go in the third quarter. Bring up first and ten from the twelve yard line for the Hawks. First and ten from the twelve. As they come out in a power set, let's see if we can get some good snaps here. If we can get some good snaps, we should be able to power this ball in on the Tigers. Tigers lined up, first and 10 from the 12. Willie Martin runs out of one tackle. Runs into three Tigers on the far side. Martin on the carry around the right side. Pick up maybe a yard. No gain on no the gain, play. they say. Tackle made by number 17, Milton. Milton on the stop for the Tigers. Rain is coming down here pretty hard in Independence. First, second down and 10 for the Hawks. And that is a flag coming in there in the vicinity of Holden. Brister on the carry. There's a flag on the play. Can't see the, the call here. Let's see. <clears throat> Personal foul holding against the Hawks. Holding on the offense. It's going to move him back 10 to the 22. Second down and 20. Ten yard penalty, redo second down. Baker back in at quarterback. Let's see if he can move the ball. Into the zone. Snaps back. As number 11 stuck Bakers his hand in at the last minute. Broken up. We're trying to get the feedback, but it's raining here. It's slacked up a little bit. We're still working on it. In the meantime, bring up. Let's see if we can tell you what's going on. We're going to bring up third down and 20. The ball is at the 22-yard line of the Tigers. Quarterback is Baker. you got two receivers here to the near side, two to the top of the field. It's 
snaps back, three-step drop, throws, looks, 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 looks. He gets out of there. He's going down the sideline, and he's hit hard on that first side over there by number nine. Baker around the right side. Tackle made by number nine, Robertson. Robertson on the stop. It's going to bring up fourth down and about the call it Fourth down. Fourth down and uh, let's call it 14. Let's call it 16. Well, it's a long ways. As the Hawks try to get set, Hollis Doty out here on the numbers. Gowen in the slot, two receivers to the top. Snaps back. He's holding, he's holding it, holding it. And finally he gets down to about the 12 yard line. Tackle made by number 71. So the Hawks give it up on David downs. Johnson. Turnover on downs. Two minutes and 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. No flag on the play. Tiger fans, how about that defense? Tiger's defense stands up once again with the Hawks. Trying First to move the ball in the red zone, Tigers. cannot do it. The Tigers. First and ten for the Tigers at the twelve. See if the defense can make one more stand here. Two receivers here to the near side. And they come running. Coming out of there is going to be the quarterback, Rutherspoon. Hit hard in there by number 18. Rutherspoon on the carry around the right side. Got up close to a first down, so it's going to be about two yards short. Second down and four. Second and four. Tackle made by number 16, Robertson. As the Tigers take their time, 2.15 and counting, third quarter. It's going to be a low snap, and Boatwright comes up with it. Boatwright runs for the first down. Tackle in there by... on the carry. Picks up enough for the Tigers. First down for the Tigers. As we finally got the feedback. Tackle number 54, Broomfield. First and 10 for the Tigers at the 25-yard line. We are back with the score eight to nothing. Don't look at that two to nothing score. The, the Hawks gave up a scoop and score on a on a punt, and the Bean. Hawks Bean was back hit in the backfield field. by Burton. By number fifty, Burton. Loss of one on the play. Loss of one. Going to bring up second bring down in eleven. 11. One minute and four seconds to go in the quarter. Eight nothing Tigers over the Hawks. <clears throat> As they interchange players, got two receivers here to the near side, one to the top of the field. Snap is back, and they're going to run it. And you get nowhere. Led in there by Daniels. 31, Hines. Porter. On the carry. Kane is two. Bring up third down and ten. Third and ten. Tackle made by number eight, Daniels. 